My name's Gigi Starr, and I go to Goodall Middle School. I got mixed up in a storm one day and became elected by the elements, sun, water, and wind, and Mother Nature to become Green Power Girl. Now, together we fight the forces that darken our planet, headed by the fossil fools, Mr. Mogu, and Earth Acquisition, Inc. Your future and the future of all creatures everywhere depends on clean energy. We need your help. You can be a green power hero. No cape required. Oh, aloha. <laughs> so raise your hand if you feel fully inspired. Yes. What an amazing day, huh? You're all looking at me like you've never seen someone with green hair before. <laughs> well, I have green hair because I was sent from Mother Nature on a very important mission. Ah! <laughs> to sustain life on this planet for all children of all creatures for all time. And as Green Power Girl, I go into schools and I talk to kids about energy, electricity, why it's important to conserve it, how to think about it differently. And I've done over 1,500 presentations, went into hundreds of schools, and talked to lots of kids. Um, and it's my green hair that connects us. I can go into any school anywhere and bypass ethnic and cultural identities, political ideologies, because it's nature, it's green, that we all have in common. Oops. And I especially love working with girls, because I know, as research has shown, when you empower girls, you empower communities, and you empower the whole world. But mostly, I want every kid to know that it's the power of their hero's heart that will lead the way in this immense challenge that faces them. So I wasn't always a superhero. Like most superheroes, my beginnings were tragic. In fact, 11 years ago, the IPCC released its first report saying the IPCC, the International Panel of Climate Change, released a report saying, yes, indeed, all this burning of poisonous fossil fuels is adding heat-trapping gas to our blanket, the atmosphere, and it's causing the planet to warm. And we've already begun to see the effects of that, including droughts and floods, more intense storms, um, water and food shortages, and the list goes on. Our energy dependence on fossil fuels is causing mountains to disappear, oil spills, nuclear meltdowns, glacier melting, species extinction. They say that climate change will be the direct result of extinction to 30 to, 30 to 40 percent of all of the Earth's amazing creatures. And we've heard some people talk about that today. So I decided I needed some superpowers. Because it was also at that time that I got my first contract from the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power to teach kids about energy. And so I put together this very compelling slideshow, similar to what you saw. And the kids looked at me at the end, and they were either bored or scared to death. <laughs> and I thought, what can I do? What can I do to teach kids about energy? What can I do to face the richest and most powerful companies and organizations, oil and gas companies? What can I do? just a girl. <laughs> so it was then that I decided I needed to become super. I needed to become a hero because a hero is someone who rises above our fears and limitations to achieve something extraordinary. A hero embodies what we believe is best in ourselves. And if there was ever a mission that needed some heroes, this is it. So I became Green Power Girl and with my renewable energy cape. My solar scepter, got a new LED bulb on there, isn't that good? Um, animal allies and heart of compassion, we are ready for the challenge. And now kids, they get really excited when I come into their school. <laughs> they love Green Power Girl, and they know. They know the immense challenge that awaits them to transition the world off of poisonous fossil fuels. But fear not, we have more Green Power Heroes to save. To help us, this is Marina Del Rey. And with her magic shell phone, any ocean creature 
can call her at any time and say, hey, Marina, we need more green power, just three degrees more, and we lose our coral reefs. Can you imagine Hawaii without our precious coral reefs? Or Mercury Man, born from the toxic mercury from coal-fired power plants and hastily discarded mercury thermometers and CFL light bulbs. But Mercury Man, Mother Nature saw this toxic brew forming and decided she would turn him in to a mutant healer. And so now he goes around the planet and he takes the Earth's temperature and gauges the rapidly changing climate. Jaw wind power comes in a flash with clean green power with his turbine power dreadlocks and his magic drum. It was Jaw that first initiated me into the green power hero universe. Watch. <laughs> the whole cartoon on greenpowergirl.com if you want to. Okay, but, and I've created a whole universe of 80 different green power hero champions, animal avatars, energies, environments, including the fossil fools, um, so kids can learn about this uh, information differently. And I'm currently working on a social change video game so that they can go on missions with Marina Del Rey and learn more about coral reefs and, and desertification and all of these issues. But how we deal with this information is differently. We play. And it's imagination and play, in fact, um, that allows the kids to engage in this in a whole new way. And what I know to be true, and Einstein said it best. Oh, where is that Einstein thing? OK, well, what I know to be true is that kids are great creators. So every year I ask um, kids, who will be the next Green Power Hero? And it's really interesting what they come up with. And great, amazing. And what I know to be true is, is what Einstein said, is that logic will take you from A to B, but imagination, it will take you everywhere. And so, here's a second grader that got so sad when he learned that polar bears might go extinct in his lifetime, that he has, his character, Refreeze, has a magic refreeze gun. And he can refreeze the polar ice caps. And the polar bears are saying, thank you, refreeze. And look, there's Green Power Girl up there to help him. <laughs> My friend Amber, she learned that we could make clean green fuel from algae. She got so excited that she decided she would become Algae Girl and spread the inspiration. Recycle Man Makana, he helped start a recycling program at his school. And it's not just kids that like to dress up as my heroes. This is back to the green. And the blue revolution man and the green flash. They are heroes for the planet. And even the fossil fools show up. Oops, where do we go? Where's the fossil fools? That slide seems to be missing. Well, the fossil fools, the um, evil Mr. Mogu and the wicked Crimson Tide, sometimes they show up and we have to, you know. Oh, and we get invited to go to schools and environmental fairs to spread the clean energy and the green power message. And here's what I know as Green Power Girl, is that everybody has a hero inside them. So what is your special power, your joyful service that the world needs that are that the Earth's children need? What can we do together to overcome our fears and limitations and achieve something extraordinary, the world that we dream about? What I know is that you don't have to have green hair or a renewable energy cape or even a solar scepter to be a hero. That the only thing you need to be a hero is to have a hero's heart, a heart full of aloha. So thank you. Thank <laughs> you.